Hi friends, welcome to Aisha DIY. Uh, in this video, we will learn how to make this cute, pretty earrings. I used all the beads that we got from Beadbox Bargains <coughs> subscription for this month, April 2021. So these are the 4mm faceted amethyst. I chose a little bit darker, lighter and more lighter version. And then these uh, crystal beads, I chose this um, purple, pink and the white to put in the stones um over here it looks almost like a graduated size but it is only two sizes and it looks really pretty for this the items that we need is these beads you can use any round beads you want these are four millimeter these are two by three millimeters so you can use a two millimeter or any beads you have available and then some 20 gauge wire and then this is 26 gauge wire in bright copper and this is antique uh copper and you can use the same color too i just chose to use this um it's always up to you and then one uh, the tools that we need is this bail making pliers and wire cutters and needle nose pliers and uh, some uh, nylon jaw pliers then we need a ruler so take a ruler uh, and then i'm gonna cut about six inches of wire of 20 gauge wire and then flush cut the ends this one is flush and then this is uh, my wire that I have then I'm going to straighten the wire Now what I'm going to do is, uh, this bail making pliers are very useful, but if you want you can use any mandrel which has a uh, bigger and smaller size. I used uh, these two sizes to make this um, uh, earring, so I'm just going to put this in between the end and this is a bigger uh, size mandrel that I'm going to work first and then I'm going to just roll this. And this is one complete round and I'm going to roll more until I reach about here and then I'm going to take it off about one and a half circles. So I don't know for some reason my bail making pliers are not very good. I don't know why but okay this is what we have so far just like a p and then i'm gonna go uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to go ahead and keep this over here right next to it that's what i have done here so i'm just going to take it and then move my wire around this this mandrel and then reposition it slowly so that it completely covers the uh, thing and then it's a straight line like that just like that one full round is enough but uh, as I said, my pliers are a little bit off, and so I have this. You can actually insert it one more time inside, and then kind of, you know, adjust it. If you want, you can do that with your round nose pliers too. The biggest mandrel and the smallest thing you can do. So I'm just going to adjust it, and then I'm just going to pull the straight just like that so we have these and then we need to do one more take my pliers reposition it just after this is good enough then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to keep it just like that 
and then I'm going to take the wire and circle it all the way and then reposition my pliers and circle it more so that it comes complete one full round and I don't make a half round so once you are done with it you can take it off and it looks like this so this is what I have so far and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to see how I did that okay now the smallest one so I'm gonna keep my mandrel here I'm gonna make a loop this side because left side is already the bigger loop so right side so I'm just going to hold it in between and then bend the wire all the way and as I said my pliers is not very very good I don't know why but <laughs> uh, it is what it is and I have to work with that so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten my loop as much as I can and then reposition my pliers and then go one full circle and I want this wire to be going straight and now we have the small round now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the pliers and reposition it again um, right over here and then do it on the left side I'm gonna take my wire and then come full circle and then reposition my pliers and then go reposition my pliers and then go up I want this wire to come straight and now I have my other loop okay and now we need to do one more the last one so I keep it right here very close and then make a circle reposition it and then make it like that if it is easy once you make it use your round nose pliers and then kind of make this into straight okay this is what we have so far if you want we can adjust this just a tad bit Now all our loops are in place and then what we need to do is we need to take this and then keep it in the center of this bell making pliers and using this mandrel and then I'm gonna just fold it back so we have this and take your nylon jaw pliers and then just press these loops so that they are nice and this is what we have so far and now we can start embellishing this uh, wire loops with some 26 gauge wire about this much say seven inches of wire should be good enough so I'm gonna take this wire where there is two wire right next to it I'm gonna wrap so fold this wire take your needle nose pliers and kind of insert it into the loop and pull it 
and put it right next to the and then one more time I'm trying to take the wire and then tuck it in. You could just use a little bit uh, a bigger tail and that should be easy. Um, I think I took a small one so it's kind of acting up. There we go. I'm going to snip off that excess wire and take your amethyst beads. Any four millimeter bead will work. I'm using the bargain bead box four millimeter amethyst here. So I'm just placing it in the round then I'm just going to go ahead and secure it to the other end by inserting the wire into the loop just make sure your wire is not tangled and I have secured it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring this back to the next one as I did it here take my other uh, amethyst bead just going to insert it here into the loop make sure there is no kinks you can use your needle nose pliers or I am using this uh, nylon job place to pull so that I don't kink my wire anymore put my bead in My wire is already kinked. Okay. I need to fix that kink wire. Let me just use my nylon jaw pliers to kind of take the kink off if I can. I can't work the wire more. If you do, it might break. Let me see if my amethyst gives me way. Let's see it goes through I am very lucky if not I have to do this again not with this wire there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to secure this between the loops and the center wire just like that make sure there is no kinks as i said just pull with your nylon jaw pliers once we did 
the two wraps and then I'm gonna go ahead and then wrap it in the center of the stem once then I'm gonna take the next amethyst bead I'm gonna pop it in the wire okay just like that and then I'm gonna secure it and by going underneath this and pulling the bead once and then going down there and securing one wrap in the stem and then I'm taking the wire back here then we have this uh, purple we have the like three beads right there three colors white and light pink and this purple so I'm just putting the purple in here the small loop and then again I'm going to secure it by going underneath the loop just make sure your bead is, sits on the loop and once that is done then take it and bring it behind make sure it is tight You can also use 28 gauge wire and then wrap it around the center of the center of the earring just like that and Take the next bead and pop it in the next round. Over here. And then take it and go underneath. And then come back down to the center. Then make one wrap in the center of the stem and then pop the next bead so that it sits in the last loop then go ahead and secure that by going underneath the loop and pulling it off then coming back here and then i'm gonna wrap it three times around the center of the Once it's done, go ahead and trim the excess wire and then tuck in the tail. And then adjust your loop just a bit. You can use your nylon job pliers to kind of make everything in place. And here we have our earrings nice and ready so now what we need to do is we just need to check if both are okay and seems like just a tad bit long Now, all you need to do is take this. It is already flush cut, so just need to taper this, and your earrings are done. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos a couple of times a week, and it comes around 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And I think that this is very, very pretty and you, I want you guys to 
leave me in the comments below if you don't like it or you don't like it let me know thank you so much for watching like subscribe and share my video please